Mistake number four is relying too much on exercise. Most people that I talk to, um, that could be in a sort of an online consultation, a face-to-face -face consultation at the gym, or just in conversation, tend to want an exercise. A lot of YouTube comments that I get, what's the best exercise? What exercise should I be doing? Is this stretch good? Is that stretch good? And the honest answer is, I have no idea. For the very simple reason of what I've discussed before, is that I don't know what your pain triggers are, I don't know what your back pain is, and therefore what could be sort of medicine for one person could be you know the 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 problem for another person so we have to um sort of come to that understanding but when it comes to exercise again exercise may be a part of the problem but we don't know what exercise there may also be before we even get to exercise there may be some stretches that need to happen before we even get to the stretches there may be some um, muscle relaxation that needs to happen to sort of bring down sensitivity which could be done via a massage or via um, uh, like foam rolling so we need to get to these we need to be able to get to exercise to know what if it's the right thing to do but we need to go through the assessment process to understand where we need to start there are also everyday um, everyday sort of uh, habits and routines that we could build in before we even get to exercise or exercise could be a part of that everyday routine that we need to build in straight away but again we can't um, we can't understand that without all this questioning and assessment process that goes before it so if we are just trying to jump in to exercise we could be jumping in at the deep end which could instigate a sort of stress response fight or flight um, sink or swim type scenario Whereas it's much more advantageous to start at the shallow end of the pool and learn what we need to do before we get to the deep end of exercise. But again, we don't know whether exercise is going to be useful. It may be, it may not be. So it's, again, you can start to understand that there is a process to overcoming lower back pain. And by going through that process, we know what to rely on. But so many people, when they talk to me, what exercise should I be doing? I need to be building my core strength. I need to be building my core stability. Well, do you? Let's test your core strength. What's your core strength like? Well, your core strength seems fine, so you don't need that. Let's test your core stability. Well, that seems fine. Well, you don't need that. So what is it that you need? Again, these are just one-size-fits-all things that come from experts, therapists, online influencers, whoever. Um you need to build your core strength. That's again, that's another common statement that I get told, oh, I need to build my core strength, I need to build my core stability. And I'm like, well, do you? Let's get you doing some core strength. Well, okay, well that looks completely fine. You don't need any of that. Core endurance, don't need any of that. So what else is going on? You may need it, again, I don't know. Um, but we can't go about relying on it and jumping straight into it. We have to come to some sort of understanding of this is what I need. And there are so many different aspects. Again, if you can think of like a, a pie chart, if you will, that's divided up into, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 different sections. You may have 10 of them, but five of them are reduced and they're the ones we need to build up. Or you've got 12 of them and we need to build three of them up. Or you've got three of them and we need to build 12 of them up. Again, we can't understand that without the questioning and, and assessment process. So try not to rely too much on exercise, but find out what it is you need.